Congratulations if you've taken the trouble to look up all the juicy information on the peripheral status for Season 2. That indicates that you have finished the gripping, thought-provoking sci-fi thriller and are ready for another smash. The Peripheral is an engaging and entertaining program, despite being a head-scratcher that requires careful attention. It culminates in a dramatic, twisting ending that achieves precisely what it was intended to do, make you want more. How did Flynn end up? Exists she still? Can Burton forget Connor's misdeeds? And will Wilf agree that Alita's results are accurate? There is so much to go into, and we have only just begun to scratch the surface of what happened in the show's concluding episode. With that setup, the show's creators Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan are undoubtedly considering a second season, but will we actually get one? Here is everything we currently know about season 2 of The Peripheral. The Peripheral season 2 potential release date, when's it on? The season finale just aired, therefore the lack of an official confirmation of a season 2 as of December 2022 isn't always a bad thing. As executive producer Joy said, we know that the appetite is there from the creator's side of the fence. I would love to have season 2 and season 3 and all the seasons in the world to explore this amazing, amazing novel. I know we've already started brainstorming about season 2 in the hopes that we get a season 2, and the world only gets more vast and complicated. Mort seems to be up for the challenge. In exclusive interview with Digital Spy, the actress behind titular character Flynn Fisher relayed her excitement saying, I think that there's a really large possibility for the idea of these stubs and what does it look like to be able to use them? What if they could be in different stubs at different times? What does that really look like? I think there's just a huge way to build out the world. And two, I think, get them out of just London and get us into other cities. I really think that would be a fun thing to see, too. What does the rest of the future world look like? Come on Greenlight, let's give supporters the chance to find out. The Peripheral Season 2 cast, who will be coming back? Reese, who was fatally killed by Hitman Bob, who also took a bullet to make up for his acts, is definitely off the table, therefore we can tell you who isn't coming back. The dishonest Sheriff Jackman, who Tommy killed, is also off the hook, more on that later. The fallout from Tommy's attempt on Corbel Pickett's life as well as Pickett's survival will definitely be catastrophic. Flynn Fisher, who officially perished in the season finale but managed to escape into a new stub that serves as a new branch in the chronology, is the first survivor on our list and one we'd actually like to keep there. In a potential second season, the following characters would undoubtedly join the new Flynn. Jack Rayner as Burton Fisher, Ali Gorey as Connor, Gary Carr as Wolf Netherton, Charlotte Riley as Alita, J.J. Failed as Lev Zuboff, Tinia Miller as Cheriz Newland, Alexandra Billings as Inspector Ainsley, Katie Lung as Ash, Julian Moore Cook as Ossane, Alex Hernandez as Tommy, Louis Hertham as Corbell Pickett, Adele and Horan as Billy Ann Baker, Chris Coy as Jasper Baker. The peripheral season 2 plot, what will happen? Flynn orchestrated her death to look as though it were the action of the Met Police, so there's a chance he won't find out, but secrets and lies always find a way to surface so we wouldn't bank on it. Boy will Burton be pissed when he finds out that Connor killed Flynn, even though he did so on her orders to save the world from the impending doomsday known as the jackpot, but he still will not be happy. The jackpot may have been stopped by Flynn's efforts to prevent Cherise, head of the research institute, from erasing the data inserted into her mind earlier in the season. But for how long? Cherise might still be determined to destroy the chronology as a brutal just-in-case precaution because she is anxious to make sure she has completely destroyed the data, which turned into bacterial DNA within Flynn. On the other hand, Cherise might find it challenging to track down the Flynn from the alternate reality. Who has this priceless information in her DNA? We have great confidence that Cherise will figure out a solution even if Flynn destroyed the equipment that would have allowed her to find this new stub. Flynn is fortunately collaborating with the strong Inspector Ainsley so she won't be totally outmatched. The original 2032 may have lost their Flynn, but there will still be two Burtons, two Connors, two Thomas, etc., all working under different circumstances, one group grieving the loss of Flynn and navigating the chaos without her. Speaking of new timelines, things could get a little crazy with two 2032 stubs in existence. When it rains, it freaking pours in the world of the Fisher Brigade in 2032, and Wilf and Alita will both have to deal with Lev, who in the post credit sequence was given the order to wipe them all out to cover his tracks. To prevent Flynn and Burton from being implicated in and imprisoned for the murder of Pickett's wife, Tommy killed Jackman and Pickett. In the meantime, Tommy has failed miserably in his attempt to safeguard the Fishers. Tommy will have to make some difficult choices next season. Will he let Pickett live and risk implicating both himself and the Fishers in the process, or will the decent cop carry out his homicidal intent? Or at least he believed he murdered Pickett, but he's merely comatose. A power battle broke out among Pickett's lawless lackeys, including his nephew Jasper Baker, during his brief absence. Jasper, who was tired of being ignored and labeled as the weak one, drugged the men and left them to perish on a railroad track as the group discussed who should take command if Pickett died. One tearful call to his wife later and Jasper soon comes to regret this decision but it's too late, the events are already in motion. 
Guess he'll be busy covering up his traces too. Maybe he and Tommy should confer. It turns out that implants suppress memories, which Alita discovered when she removed her own. So for Wilf, that means the quashing of the massacre of his entire family as well as five million other people all over England, all killed by the Klept. He has been misled his entire life, but the truth can be unearthed with the removal of his implant. Alita means to seek vengeance for the Klept's acts and has gathered others like her and Wilf to join the cause. All she needs is the data in Flynn's head to destroy them. They were culled after a contagion arose among them. The possibility of Wilf siding with his sister in season 2 would be troubling for the budding romance between him and Flynn. The peripheral season 2 trailer, when can I watch it? Not for quite some time. But to be honest, the most of us are probably still processing what happened in season 1. However, we'll keep our ears open for any new information regarding a trailer, and as soon as we learn anything, we'll let you know. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.